Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode. Today's video is going to be entirely dedicated to people who often end up accidentally deleting important files from their computer. We know how frustrating it can be to lose valuable data and that's why we have decided to share some different recovery methods to get it back. Whether you've deleted the files by mistake or lost them due to an unexpected Windows crash, these methods will help you recover completely deleted files quite easily. But before we delve into the methods, make sure to click the subscribe button so that you won't miss any future updates. Now, if you want to understand the entire data recovery process, it's first important to know what happens when you delete a file from your PC. Basically, when you delete a file, it's not completely removed from the hard drive. Instead, the system will mark its location as available for new data. This means that deleted files will stay on your PC as long as you don't overwrite them with new data. But the recovery procedure will depend on how you deleted a specific file from the hard drive. Let's walk you through a couple of data deletion scenarios and the right way to recover files in each case individually. Control D deleted the files. Pressing either Ctrl D or the delete button is an uncommon way to remove files, but still many people use it to do the job. The good news is that if you have deleted a file by pressing either of those keys, you can easily get it back with the Ctrl Z key combination. Pressing Ctrl Z will undo your action and you'll be able to recover the deleted file in no time. Storage size in a recycle bin is full. It's worth noting that files will only stay in the recycle bin until the storage capacity fills. In general, the recycle bin has a maximum storage capacity of 5% of the size of your hard drive. So if you're using a 500GB hard drive, then the recycle bin will automatically start deleting files when it has more than 25GB of data in it. Fortunately, you can tackle this scenario by manually increasing the size of the recycle bin. This way, you can customize the recycle bin to store comparatively more data, making it easier to recover completely deleted files in case of emergencies. Here's how you can increase the size of a recycle bin on your PC. Step 1. Right click the recycle bin icon on your desktop and click Properties. Step 2. Select your hard drive and here you can enter the desired size of the recycle bin in megabytes. Click OK to save your changes once the recycle bin size has increased. You'll be able to store more files after they get deleted from the hard disk. System Restore. Another way to recover deleted files from a Windows PC is to use the System Restore feature. With System Restore, you can roll back your PC settings to a previous version. However, this method will only work if you want to recover Windows system files, registry settings, and programs. It won't help if you want to get back deleted images, videos, MP3 files, or documents. Also, you can only use System Restore to recover data if you have configured your PC to create restore points. Let's quickly check out how to use System Restore to get back Windows and system files. Step 1. On your Windows 10 system, type create a restore point in the Cortana search bar and click the first search result. Step 2. Navigate to the system protection tab and click system restore. Step 3. Click the next button and choose a restore point from the list. Step 4. Click next and let the system automatically restore to the selected point. Finally, click finish to complete the process. All the previous methods will work if the deleted files are available in the recycle bin. But what if you've emptied the recycle bin and don't even have a restore point to get the files back? Well, in this case, you'll have to use a professional data recovery software to retrieve the data. Wondershare Recover It is the most reliable data recovery tool for Windows. It is designed to recover permanently deleted files from different storage devices, be it your internal hard disk or your smartphone's micro SD card. Since Recover it supports more than a thousand file formats, you'll be able to recover different types of files without any hassle. Here's the quick three-step process to recover data permanently using Wondershare Recover It. Step one, install and launch Recover It on your Windows PC and choose the location where you deleted the files. Step two, click next and Recover It will automatically start scanning the hard drive for all deleted files. Step three, once Recover is done scanning your system, it'll display a list of the deleted files. At this point, all you have to do is select the files you want back and click Recover to restore them. Recover it will automatically restore the selected files to a dedicated location on your PC. So that wraps up our video on how to recover completely deleted files in different scenarios. Let us know in the comment section which method helped you retrieve the deleted files on your PC. And if you'd like to watch more videos, don't forget to tap the subscribe button below and press the bell icon. 
make sure you guys let us know what you want to see next and I'll see you guys next time.